point of saying that you were happy that you went to school when there were arts and music classes in schools? Can you elaborate on that? Are you concerned as a, as a person in the arts and concerned about this, um, that this type of curriculum is disappearing from public schools? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, from the very beginning of school, from like kindergarten on, I don't remember what the, uh, the preschool situation was, but definitely from kindergarten on, we had music class. Miss McClendon was my music teacher. Through middle school, through high school, we had music classes, and that was a big part of um, why I do music. Um, I also thank my parents because they also gave me private music lessons, which, um, you know, not everybody has. So it was a combination of those two things. I'm very fortunate, and I do think that um, too many schools are cutting arts, music. It's just so essential. It's so essential, like I said, to expose kids to everything because you're going to have some math geniuses, and you're going to have some music people, and you're going to have just, like, people are going to... If you just like let people get, give people a shot at everything, they'll find, people will find the thing that's right for them, but I don't know, there's just like not enough. Um, schools I know have cut so much stuff. Um, there's one uh, organization, Education Through Music, that I really love. They kind of put music into schools. They, or they help you know, put music back into schools. Um, and I know there are a lot of organizations like that. I just think it's so important, not just for music, but really for everything, just expose kids to stuff.